All right, we're back out in the shop. Um, I got a mod I want to do on the front axle. So if everybody knows, I have the I have a John Deere swept axle. Uh, if you're into this stuff, you know you spin them around so that the uh, the wheels face forward. Um, and we'll look at what I'm going to do. Uh, but we're coming across an issue. I think a lot of people are having anyway. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, I got a pretty decent idea. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work out really well. So let me uh, let me show you what what I got planned. All right, so we got the Charlie horse. I got him up on uh, on a jack real quick, just so we can get you know articulation and everything in the axle. Okay, that's all great. So what the problem is, is we're having is the the back and forth, right? I don't know if you can see that. So what ends up happening is, I mean, this is an old axle. A lot of these axles are, the center pins are either war or everything gets war. So we got to figure out a way. And what I'm going to do is I have a plan off of this tab, which is a reverse tab that would normally work on the John Deere's, it would push against a plate so you don't get this stuff like this. And these John Deere axles are narrower at the pivot pin than a wheel horse, so oh, I had to put spacers and all that. I could move the ear forward, I'm not gonna do that because if I ever wanna throw a, a horse axle back in this, I, I don't wanna do that. So, this boss would normally be the other way, forward, and be pushing against a plate and there's one on the other side, right? So you don't get this this rock and roll, you don't get that wear. Um, so what I'm gonna do, and this side is easier, uh, is I'm gonna take a couple heim joints, I mean essentially a, a tie rod, I guess, a heim joint. I'm gonna build a bracket off of this, okay? that'll put a bolt through it. And then I'll bring that tie rod end all the way back and I'll put a bracket back here. So it'll triangulate. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And then it'll keep this from doing this. And you can tighten them up. They'll still articulate this way because they got the hind joints in them. Um, I think it's gonna work out. So, I don't have any. And I want to do this mod, so we look over here to the seahorse, or seahorse, but the seahorse has, uh, Charlie Horse's old, beefed up tie rods. Uh, I'm going to rob them. I'm going to rob them off there. Uh, this thing doesn't get hammered on nearly as much as the Charlie Horse. I have a set of stock type, um, that I'll, I'll throw on it just to have something um, and, and you know it won't be inoperable but I want those like now so I'm gonna take them off there and we're gonna start mocking up okay we took these off and put some stock type back on so we don't have a tractor down so I'm gonna use these off of there I'm going to build a bracket, drill, bolt it with a hole like up there. And then that end will go to the tractor. I'll have to stand it off a little bit. It would be nice if it was back a little bit more, but I can drill through that. Put a stand off as a, just a spacer, a bolt or, or nut, I mean, or something, just to stand it off the tractor a little bit. It's not going to get a lot of this. It's not going to get hardly any of this. It'll be the up and down. And it'll be fine. And then we won't get the, uh, the back and forth. So. i got to build some brackets. Four of them. Should be easy enough. Come up. You know, so if it's like that, let's see here. So if this 
this goes all the way up, that doesn't affect it. If it turns, that's where it's going to hit. I need to make sure I'm up off that corner. I'm going to have to be just up off that corner because if it's like that and like that, it picks up. Okay. All right. So I've made a, uh, a little bracket. This is the first one. I'm going to make four. So basically, that little bracket is going to go down under there. Okay, and then there'll be one on the other side, and then I'll drill a hole through the end of it here, and then the tie rod will go from there, it'll bolt through, back to the body. Oh, it's going to work out good. It's going to work out good. Alright, i got to make three more of those. All right, so I've made some brackets. They'll be for this side. So I was going to bolt through this, but I just cleaned it up, and I'm actually going to weld. Um, I'm going to weld to it. I'm going to weld here, the top. I got a couple spot drills, so I'll weld, and then I'll weld the bottom. It's not going to go anywhere. But yeah, I think I think welding is going to be the way to go. I won't be able to get on that inside, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to weld that on there.
Okay, so we got them welded up. I don't know if you can see and painted. I just, I just don't want them to rust real quick. But anyway, a quick little project is going to be, I think it's going to work out. Now, i got to put the axle back on. And then it'll just be a matter of figuring out on the body where i got to drill. That quick? Okay, I got the axle back in. Here's the part I made. Triangulates it back to the frame. No more side to side. Or front to back, however you want to. Takes all that torque off that axle pin. There's the other one underneath there. Sweet. Pretty excited. I'm gonna throw the wheels back on. I gotta work on the bumper, um, the uh, brush guard for the uh, wet, um, the winch there. Oh, here it is. I'm gonna revamp the uh, the one that I made before to fit with that new Fairleaf. It's gonna be awesome. So I know what everybody's thinking. Uh, they're thinking that those trailing arms. Um, off that front axle are going to bind because they're pitched down a little bit and the axle has to move up and you're thinking that As it moves up, it's going to want to push that axle, but that axle on each side. I have made stops well before um, That axle only travels about an inch and a half up or down from zero on either side so the amount of change in length on that arm as it comes up that much is maybe a 30 second. Not to mention the slop that was in that pivot pin, which you can see in the beginning of the video, the slop that was in that pivot pin, any of that is gonna get absorbed by that uh, slop in the pivot pin. Um, I've taken it for a ride. It handles amazing. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. I understand that, oh, mathematically it doesn't work and it's supposed to bind, it doesn't bind. That's it, it works. Um, there's so much slop in these front axles. I mean, if you're talking about a car you're racing down a track, yeah, totally different story. Totally different story. But there's so much slop in these front pins, that axle going side to side, front to back, however you wanna look at it. The amount that it travels up and down is not gonna bind on that, uh, on that link. It just doesn't. So, but it works for the uh, off-road tractors. Um, what do I always say? Do it, don't do it. Copy it, don't copy it. Um, it works for me and that's all I care about. It really handles amazing. You don't get a lot of the darting around. Um, you don't have to seem to, uh, you know, drive the tractor as much when you're on the, the flat straights, um, things of that nature. So it works really well. I totally dig it. Um, I'm glad he did it. Thanks for watching.